Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. I'm here with Nicole and Kathy. And I know you guys must have noticed in the opening that it was not Bryce Info. It was Nicole Info. And Nicole is also doing a sponsorship with Asia as well. And because our awesome guest, Kathy, today, this is just an incredible story. And this is, I just think that God, this is such an incredible God wink. Uh, I had seen Nicole's video that she did with Kathy like last week. And I text Nicole and I was like, this is so serendipitous um, because of the ASEA and how it's come into our community and how my benefits with the SIA have been unbelievable. Um, but this is going to be more about Kathy's story and just, I mean, just how crazy the universe works and how incredible God works. And so before we get into Kathy's story, Nicole, can you tell the audience like a little bit of a, ba a backstory to your relationship with Kathy and the ASEA and all yeah. that stuff? Yeah, I've actually been uh, really good friends with Kathy for about a year now. And, and uh, we met each other, um, you know, virtually, like everybody meets these days, um, in um, in RV groups, you know, and, and the topics were, were that. And um, we, we started doing lobster training videos, and we started doing, lo you know, lots of, lots of things. And so... Our, our topic of conversation was not a lot of, you know, her health or my health. You know, it re really was uh, compartmentalized for a while. And it was several months before I realized that, um, that Kathy needed a walker to ambulate with. And so um, and I didn't want to ask much. And, but eventually I, we got to where we would chat. I'm like, so what, like, what is your um, health challenges, you know? And so she told me a brief overview and um, she's not one to focus on her pain and her, her trials and all that kind of stuff. And so we just continued, you know, our friendship going forward. So um, over time, uh, I knew that she had some, you know, it, it really internally bothered her, but she has made strides. Like she's, she'd gotten to the point where she was, self-sufficient, independent, that kind of stuff. Um, but I had no idea where she had come from. I had no idea where it actually began. And then uh, fast forward to this now moment. And um, Bryce brought Asia to my attention from Catherine. And I had never really paid much attention to it. You know, I had my health struggles too. And in my own world, I just had accepted it for being like happy to be alive i'm happy to put one foot in front of the other like um i got blessing and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna jinx it like i'm just not gonna rock the boat and then um i i saw things in a different light like i evolved my my appreciation for health have evolved and when i mentioned asia again in terms of possibly something that i would be involved with she said well did i ever tell you my asia story and I was like, no. <laughs> and man, is it a story. Yes. And so, Kathy, I'm so happy and excited to have you on the channel to tell your story. And I just want to remind everybody, we know Nicole is a nurse, but we are also not doctors. And so our own feels kind of stupid. I feel like most of our audience gets this although common sense isn't so common. Um, right. But, you know, most of this is Kathy's story. This is her relationship with this product. I want to make it very clear that ASEA is not medication. It is literally just helping the body to do what the body is supposed to do. And this is my interpretation of this product is that our bodies are so genius, but we are so bogged down with so much stuff that it makes it harder for the body to do what it's supposed to do in this very dense gangster planet that we live we live on. And um, and so I just want to make that clear that everybody's um, experience with ASEA is going to be different. It's supposed to be different because it's getting to the root of the problem, which for every person is going to be a different um, situation, you know, depending yeah. on what's going on with you. And so I just want to make that very clear that we are not doctors. This is just Kathy's experience all you got you guys know that just making that disclaimer so kathy i'm so excited to have you here 
let's start. I mean, I just, when I heard, watched your video with Nicole, I was like, holy shit. I was like, <laughs> I know. I know. I'm so glad to be here. Seriously. I'm just, I feel so blessed that you guys are not just interested, but that you can feel the alignment inside and you can feel that this really is on the cusp for a lot of people. Like yeah. this is, if there is ever a time and I'm going to try to trip down memory lane quickly <laughs> without chopping up some of the emotion because some of it is very important some mm -hmm. of it you need to feel some it's not just data points on a on a outline to be sure that I, I script it and say it just right that's not me and that's not this story but it's it's funny because when i look back at how this has evolved with nicole specifically i had had a you know my youtube channel was active and thriving. And I did very extensive videos describing exactly what I'm going to tell all y'all. And so I didn't keep repeating it. I would say, scroll back a few weeks, scroll back to my story. If you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, scroll back and listen. So that's the point Nicole came in. So she didn't scroll back. And that wasn't the point that then it wasn't her time. All of it was for a reason. Anyway, so this is like when she told me that she was starting it, I'm like, what? Yeah. Seriously, it like, oh my God. I'm glad I came back to gallery view because I'm you hit on something that I'm glad you hit on. The experience, feeling it. This is not just some scripted story mm -hmm. because us human beings, even though we have a Dharma, even though those those of us who have souls that we're just learning, there are people who don't have an actual soul contract, but it does, and that's what that's what the ASEA Redox is amazing is that it's not going to do the work for you, but it's going to help you. It's going to assist you. So any other work you're doing, exercising, eating right, doing your shadow work, meditation, it's going to assist in that experience. It's not going to, it's not a, it's not a, a magic pill. Yeah. yeah it, it's going to help you and you can't over, that's why you can't overdose. You just pee it out. You know, if you take yeah. too much. Right. So anyway, Kathy, yes, I believe that. I mean, God just works in such <laughs> mysterious ways. And I heard somebody I say that this is the med bed in a bottle. So, um, so take it away. Tell us your story. It, and it feels so bizarre because I'm going to say this in a story form. So just follow along with me. Okay. So we're entering this story in the, in the planet, in the universe of 2004, right? Which is like completely not today, right? With technology, with, with relationships, with our own evolving process, 2004. I mean, think about where you were, what you were doing back then. It's like crazy time. And that's where my story is starting. Okay, so with that in mind, I found myself, <clears throat> and it was in July of 2004, I had just made an escape from an abusive marriage, and I was, I reunited with my high school son, and um, long story, and that's not the purpose of this video, but two weeks after I made this escape, my feet started doing weirdness, and for no reason. All of a sudden, my toes started tingling, like when you sit on a, on part of your foot or something and it goes to sleep and it starts to wake up. That's what both feet felt like in my toes. And I thought, well, this is weird, but like usual, I would just not think about it, keep myself busy, not, you know, like not dwell. And I tried to not pay attention, except it didn't stop and it didn't get less it escalated and then it kind of turned into different sensations so it went from tingling toes in both feet to numb so there was no tingle there was no pain there was no and i couldn't feel and i thought this is too weird and given my life in transition i was at the time an assistant manager at a resort um, in oregon and <laughs> As this numbness, it started progressing from my toes and started working up both feet. And next thing I knew, my ankles are numb. And I can't tell if I'm walking on both on the bottom of my feet 
or if my feet are turned and I'm walking on the side of my feet. Like I had no, no sensation. And working got to be really problematic. Walking, doing site tours, room checks, all the things that you do in the hospitality industry, mobility is vital. <laughs> and it was getting more and more. Anyway, as it both legs now were involved, started with the toes and just gradually, and I'm going to try to fast forward because there's a lot to um, remember with all this. The numbness started going up both feet, both legs. By the time the numbness got to my knees, I had no balance. I could not tell. I couldn't feel. I couldn't walk without assistance. And that's when I needed, I refused to use a cane because that looked like I was old. That looked like this is just an aging process and it's okay. I felt like it would be giving permission to my body to be squirrely. And I was, you know, 20 years younger <laughs> and I wasn't old and I wasn't squirrely, right? So I was not about to give permission to something like that. Like, no, 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 no. I was very active and very like, I, I never even thought anything like this would happen. And so I used a crutch. Like if you have an accident and you're recovering from surgery or I thought this will look temporary, right? So I'll just use a crutch. And so went to football games and tried to stay active. And I kept working using a crutch. After a fashion, <laughs> I, I had to resign. I could not, because the progression didn't stop. And this is the weird part. And this is, for anybody that's listening to this, my, my details are very unique. They're not usual. And neither are my results. The results that I accomplished using ASEA, and I'll get to that, I'm jumping kind of ahead, but I want you to start opening your mind to possibilities for people that are also in a mystery, like what kind, what is this happening to my body? I've never heard of this before. It's not in my gene pool. What is this? And you start freaking out. This, what we're going to talk about is not, you. it's not specific just to me. And this what is can we pause on that for a moment? Yeah, that's something yeah. I know a lot about. I know Nicole also coming from the medical background. There are a lot of things that happen to people physically that doctors and medicine cannot. It's it's a mystery. I had that experience as we talked about in one video. It's psychosomatic. And yes. so if we look at, in, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, everything is everything is psychosomatic, yep. right? Because that's the body's job. The body's job is to hold the chakra system, which allows you to know where you're. So that makes as, as a yoga teacher, that makes perfect sense to me that you would have an, escaped an abusive relationship and then lost mobility of your feet because mm -hmm. that's the root chakra. That's Muladhara. That's your right to be here. Mm -hmm. And if anybody, so when you are, Generally speaking, when you are in an abusive situation, you are in survival mode. Mm -hmm. Once you're out of that survival mode, you then start to experience the PTSD of it where your nervous system starts to whack out a little bit. And in the body's process of trying to find equilibrium, the, the chakra becomes imbalanced. And so then the body gives you physical signs, which is what I love about the ASEA, because ASEA is going to support the body as you work. So I'm sure, Kathy, I mean, that was almost 20 years ago. I'm sure yeah. you've done a lot of work through the trauma of of being in a situation. I mean, I know we've all been in those, I, I've been in those situations right. where we work through. And I know, I don't know if you want to add anything to that, Nicole, right. because that's such a perfect example of what I think so many people right now in this great awakening are realizing that everything that we go through is not a punishment. It's not just because we inherited it. It's a literal opportunity to find harmony again through the body. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. And the thing that I would add from, you know, the, the humble bedside nurse perspective is that um, Western medicine is going to look for something that they can um, remove surgically or medicate. Mm -hmm. And pretty much beyond that, their hands off because it's this, it's the great unknown, right? They're just, they're just not going to go there. 
And, and uh, the majority of my career was in critical care. And I can't even tell you the number of times where they, the client, the patient, the family members really want an answer because they have been shuttled from specialists and specialists and given this and given that. And of course, it doesn't work because it's not a surgical problem and it's not a problem that pharmaceuticals are going to make better. It really just exacerbates the problem. Mm -hmm. And so I have always, you know, been that patient advocate and like, you know, like a classic one is, is people need to detox from parasites. You know, they have parasites in their, in their system, but has that, is that ever tested? No, it's not. And is it ever talked about? No, it's not. I can tell you. And, and one of the main problems that people come in with is abdominal pain. And if they can't find something to, to remove surgically, then they tell them to follow up with a gastroenterologist who's going to want to do scopes and things and still not have anything to remove because that's not the problem. So it's a, it's a, it's a microcosm problem of a macrocosm problem where the, the, the solution is inside you. Yeah, I was about to say that's so funny. They're going from, <laughs> and that's what we're, because you're going from specialists. And I'm not saying, guys, like if you are in an emergency situation and you need to seek treatment, if you have an appendectomy, something's going on, like, Go, yeah. go to the hospital but yeah people are looking for an answer well the answer is inside of you the answer is yeah. already within you what your body is experiencing is the effect of the cause yeah and, and that's and kathy was experiencing this shuttling around and specialists that don't have answers and they're kind of using that shotgun effect or whatever but internally sh she knew there was an answer she just needed to find it so yeah. if i can pick up my story you guys are highlighting things from 2023 to the world of 2004 that hadn't happened yet like and, yeah. and anything eastern religion yoga perspective of that was not mine i was raised yeah. a very fundamental christian very traditional very and just i was already out of my element in an abusive marriage that should have never happened i mean do you see what i mean it's like if, if I could have, if I would have, could have, should have, I could have been open to what you guys are sharing right now because it's absolutely accurate. I had no clue of it then, right? And in yeah. fact, <laughs> in my searching and as my symptoms progressed, I did experience, I, the only place I knew to go was Western medicine. They were the only people that had wisdom. They were the only people that knew science right so anything outside of that even going to the church wasn't professional they don't know they're just the church right so back in those days i followed suit with what i knew to do <laughs> which was go to a neurologist go to a specialist go to which i did and i went i was referred on and on and on i had mris cat scans special ms screens because my symptoms mimicked ms in so many ways and all different like it, they were just all troubleshooting trying to identify any buried um i'll never forget and i'll just repeat this one incident there were a panel of specialists that worked out of OHSU in Oregon, which is where I was, um, they were so caring. And these people, again, this is 2004, this is not 2023, right? So the whole medical landscape was very different back then. And these men were so caring. And the women providers, they came together and formed a panel just to go over all my results because they were absolutely they were baffled there was all my results were perfect and clearly if i'm using a crutch i'm numb above my knees now i'm not perfect like this isn't well this isn't <laughs> there's no stretch of the imagination that even resembled anything normal and they were very caring anyway oh they could find nothing and after, and I had my hopes up, just feel this with me. When you know that there's something wrong, you go for having tests. I don't know what, which is worse to get a result of it's perfect. You're totally fine. Or, oh, we have really bad news. There's a real problem. You've only got X amount of time, right? Either, I don't know which is worse. 
not having any clue which way to go or your time is limited, right? So in my experience, I finally had to cope the best way I could. And I didn't have symptoms to treat. I couldn't feel. And the doctors did try. You know, well, we'll just help you relax. We'll help you, right? So they kept trying to give me medication, but there was nothing to warrant a surgery. There was nothing other than running tests that produced some income for them. But it was it came from a very genuine place. And there was no there was no solution. Anyway, so all this time, as time goes on, it was progressing up my legs. And by the time, and I'm going to fast forward, because by the time it hit 2017, I didn't realize how shut down I was and how much going to all these specialists, going through all the testing, getting my hopes up each time. Like, okay, they're going to find it now. Okay, now we'll find it. Now these people, they'll know really what to look for. They're going to, it's going to show up. Now it's gotten worse so it's going to be easier to identify, right? How you do in your head. None of it worked. And in 2017, a friend of mine who lived in Nashville, she got a hold of me and she goes, Kathy, and she'd known my story. She had been a friend for a while. And she goes, I think you're going to want to take a listen to this. And she sent me a link with a video. And I go, yeah, what's it about? And she goes, well, it, it might help you with your legs. And you guys, it was like, holy cow. This was a very identifying moment for me because I didn't realize how much I'd given up. And when she gave me that link, it's like, I'll never forget. I ripped apart. I ripped into her. I go, seriously, right now, you're going to give me a link to a video? After all these years, and it was just like rare. And I heard myself, and it was like, oh, I gave up. And anyway, fast forward, I listened to the video, and we can put it in the description if you want to. It was a video from the founder of ASEA. And it spoke to my soul. It was like, this man is so heartfelt. It wasn't a, 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 a scheme. It wasn't any kind of an ult, like ulterior motive that's just to get rich. It wasn't anything about that. It was the whole foundation of the company of ASEA and why it went to word of mouth marketing instead of Hit the, hit the stores, hit the health food stores, get it out there. He could not. And this video goes into the detail of why. And it just, it was so timely for me. And in that moment, when I'm listening to this video and watching it and feeling with him, I'm sitting there and I'm numb to my waist. To my waist. Now, <laughs> keep in mind, there's not much distance between your waist and vital organs, your heart, your lungs. I mean, to me, I was given a terminal time bomb. You'll know, honey, when you don't feel and your heart doesn't register your, your curtains, it's over. And I was still young. I mean, seriously. And I'm like, what in the heck? So I'm, I'm watching this video and I could feel it inside. It was like, these people, the science behind this, how can I not even try it? Like, seriously, how can I not? And I did. I told my friend, I said, absolutely, I'm trying it. And I'll risk it. I will get my hopes up one more time. And so I did. <laughs> and I have to kind of laugh because at the time I was living in Las Vegas and the friend of mine that I met who also had been in ASEA for a while had the product and like usual, I didn't want to wait to order it and then get it and try it. I was ready right now. And so it was funny because we met at Mandalay Bay in the parking lot. And we joked about doing a drug drop because here I come with my money to pay for him to give me the, the 
product to try and gives me this paper bag. <laughs> it just looked like a, a drug exchanger, just making this laugh. Anyway, um, I went home and given my living situation and wisdom, I didn't want to try something without someone else knowing I was going to be trying it. And I'd had goofy experiences trying some holistic things and it gave me a, re a reaction that wasn't wonderful. ASEA was not that, but I didn't know. And so I tried it at night when I was going to go to bed. I thought everybody starts out trying two ounces to drink the liquid. And then there's a gel that accompanies it, which I didn't try the gel yet, but I went to bed and I thought, okay, here we go. If I, if maybe if, two ounces would work. Maybe I should try the whole bottle because that's my temperament, <laughs> right? All or nothing, little is good, lots is better. Anyway, that was highly discouraged and everybody just takes the two ounces to, to start. And so I had full expectation like, okay, here we go. We're going to try it. And I drank it and I waited and I felt nothing. And I thought, okay. I tried it. I was open. And clearly it didn't happen. Because I was looking for that instant, right? Here. <laughs> and I'm revealing I'm very open about my own temperament. And I am a microwave healer. You know, like I want instant results. I want right now because that's what I want. And that wasn't part of the plan. And it didn't happen when I drank it. So I called my friend. I go, okay, I'm good. I'm going to sleep. Nothing happened. Good night. Bryce, the next morning, I didn't wake up normally. I was blown away. <laughs> I woke up with full feeling. Full feeling not just in in my in my thoughts i thought when this thing works out when it's over with whatever's happened i'll just regain feeling in the order that it went numb so i expected feeling like from my waist down and i thought it would just be a gradual get my life back right that wasn't the case and it was absolutely all my feeling was back from my toes to my waist, full feeling. And I didn't realize all the years of falling, breaking bones, because I couldn't tell if I was walking or standing still or on the side. I mean, I would trip, I would slip, I would, I was always falling. And I didn't need much medication after surgeries because there was no feeling. So in the moment when all of it is alive, everything has come back to life, so did all the buried pain that I never felt. It's like, holy cow. And of course, I called the gal that, that introduced me to Asiya. I called all my people and I'm like, <laughs> only like I do, because that's me. And it was like, I'm, I'm crying and I'm so excited and I'm in such horrendous pain. Like I could have 10 kids for the amount of pain that I was feeling in that moment. And I was holding on to my walker, trying to just feel my feet as I'm walking. Like I've just wanted to experience all of it because I hadn't for so long. And so what was that? 13 years of progressively getting worse in that moment of drinking a SIA, it completely stopped, like absolutely back to zero, back to full feeling. And then it was up to me to learn how to walk again. It's like I had to re all my muscle memory, all the things that now we know what happens with our body when it doesn't work. There's so anyway, that is in a nutshell, what I experienced abruptly with ASEA. From that point, it's like, <laughs> this is where it, it assists us if we work with it. 
if I had just looked to Asiya to be the magic juice, to be the galactic, whatever, all the med bed in a bottle, all the cliche stuff, if I had left it at that, I probably would have still been not progressing as well. And I didn't. I did. I have worked on myself and it is a fantastic tool and it is absolutely the most, and I can't even tell you, it's like my feeling is still with me. It, I didn't relapse. I have never, it's never gotten a little bit numb, but oh, I do some meditation and it all comes back. No, 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 no. It has always been consistently full feeling. The variable is me. The variable is my own. Okay. How am I going to, how am I going to do this? It's my body. Now I'm with you, Bryce. Now I'm with you, Nicole, with the Eastern medicine and all the, the mental and the, the ways that we work with our body and listening to the tips, listening to the warnings of my body. None of that was there when this started, right? Well, and it shows you because you had such a quick, um, a quick response because all the AC is doing guys, all it is is redox. So all it's mm -hmm. doing is it's allowing your body, your cells to cleanse themselves and fix themselves and regenerate themselves. That's all that's doing. So that's why it goes to every person. It's going to affect them differently depending on what's going on, but it works so quickly because you wanted it to work and you were ready for it to work. And so the, the CIA said, okay, let's do this and right. brought your body back to its full feeling because you were ready you know you and, and it makes sense you know I, I i grew up i have a i come from a family full of doctors and so i've even though i've always been more eastern uh the weird one the weirdo of the family um i always had a very a love of doctors it 2020 really made me bitter towards even some of my own family because i always felt like that they were there to care. When you were in a hospital, there are great people, great nurses like Nicole who are loving on you and caring on you. So after you went through such a horrific experience with your ex, of course you mentally probably needed to be doted on mentally to help even help. So so don't ever like get mad at yourself for, for being in the... Pro I mean, listen our soul contracts are what they are you know does that make sense like yeah. to go that that comfort of having some even though it's a service you're paying for to have a doctor genuinely care or a nurse like nicole genuinely there holding your hand and caring about you is a, a huge juxtaposition to where you were in your relationship and so in some ways i feel like the years before asia even though your body got worse there was maybe some subtle subconscious healing coming mm -hmm. from just the love you felt not yeah. from the treatments right but from the love right. you felt from people like nicole does that make sense nicole as yes. a nurse yeah. like yeah i mean it and then you know now knowing what we know it it helps me under and i was always that that you know they're like nicole you really got to stop spending so much time in there like you know you got all these patients you know like you got to turn your rooms over you know and i'm like but you don't understand like they have no idea what's going on. And honestly, neither do the doctors. Yeah. So the very least I can do is give them some time because we don't have any answers. You know, I can't mm -hmm. tell you how many times I've had that conversation with, you know, coworkers or whatever, because you lose yourself in the, in the hustle and bustle of healthcare. But now knowing what we know that that's a soul connection, you know, and that was a need that was felt on, on many levels. And I feel like we do definitely go through trials in our life that make no sense in the time. Yeah. But now in this now moment, we're able to make sense of why we were brought through that, you know, that was a soul contract. It was, mm -hmm. it was a, a moment in time for us to be exactly who we are now, now, but man, it's hard when you got to go, go through it and live through it. And that was I your didn't know. I didn't know that, that, our bodies manufacture, we're born with redox molecules. Mm -hmm. That is part of our inborn. I'd never heard of it before. And mm -hmm. all that all ASEA does is just, it just takes it from the internal and it can stabilize it in a bottle outside of our body. Mm -hmm. That's what makes ASEA so unique. There is no other company with that patent. Yeah. 
I, I know yeah. a little bit about, and I will love, I would love for you to send me that video so I can put it in the description box. I got yeah. actually kind of teared up listening to you tell that story because I, I know the story of the founder and the fact that he, you know, talking about sold people, S O U L E D, the mm -hmm. fact that he had the integrity yeah. to walk yeah. away from all this money because he was going to, he was going to, he was offered, from what I understand, he was offered big bucks yeah. for this to be shelved. By certain companies. And, and he, he, said, he didn't need the money. I mean, yeah. he was a very wealthy, very well-to-do, very strategic businessman, very respected. And so he didn't need the money. But the amount that was offered to him, as I understood it, it was like for generational wealth, for his whole bloodline. Like it would have, it was just astronomical back in the day. And that was a huge, the vision he had was incredible and that's why he was trusted with it that's what now looking back i can say, i think oh my gosh oh i forgot i've got to tell you this one part so right after my feeling comes back right and i'm in all this pain and i'm in all this it hits me and i'm like oh my gosh i've got to get to virtus norton the founder he's got to know what this stuff does he's got to see me. And it wasn't like it, it was all about me and my results, but it wasn't me from an ego place. Like, oh, he's got to meet me because I'm all that. It wasn't that. But for the sake of the, the formula, for the sake of the, the future for ASEA, I thought I was unique. I thought, who's going to ever believe this story? Who's going to ever? I thought, he's got to He's got to see this. This is just unbelievable. So anyway, they had a national convention in Salt Lake and I went, I ended up there three days after my first dose <laughs> and I show up in my, <laughs> in my wheelchair. I had all this help and I, because it was a really long distance to get around and I wasn't, my feeling just got back and I'm still hurting. Right. So anyway, I get to convention and I was like, here I am, one of maybe a thousand people back in that day. Now it's much, much bigger. A thousand people with stories that made mine look like I had a cold. The results of all these people. And we just went around and like, oh, what's your story? What's your story? And crying and hugging with people like, lives that were changed, lives that were, they were given their life back and families that were reunited out of hope that had given up. They thought they were going to be dead. Anyway, it was just like such an emotional time. And it was just based on this one formula, this one. Anyway, but I had to repeat that because it was just so, my mind was blown because my own results were so minuscule compared to everyone else's. And that's the reason I was excited to even come on and share my story with you guys. Because as this can spread and the word can get out to more people to try this, this can change the trajectory of our lives for moving forward into the new earth. Like seriously, to get us evolved and our bodies in line and aligned to what's coming and health, unbelievable. And again, it's just allowing your body to yep. do what it's supposed to do, how God created, you know, that's the, um, the word for sorcery. The Greek word for sorcery is pharmakia. Oh. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we look at some of these natural things like the redox, even like microdosing with shrooms, like that's all the, that's the real medication. But they've made it so, you know, just say no, just say no to drugs, kids, you know, so that you, you, you trust their sorcery that's literally killing us. Yeah. And that's why we, that's why the, the owner was offered such an, a, an exuberant amount of money was so that this would not get out to the public. Right. And you're right. It makes me emotional hearing your story. I got that way with Danielle's story with her. Um, I don't know. I, I will put that in the description box, guys, if you missed it with her brain injury. And how the redox gave her her life back from a horrific uh, brain injury she had from a, a, dr a drunk driver hit her. And, um, but it's not, it's not the ASEA that's doing it. The ASEA is just assisting 
It's giving yeah. your body the power so that your body can do what it's supposed to do. And it's so funny that you drank it and you're like waiting because that, for me, as someone who doesn't have, like I have chronic conditions, like I struggle with arthritis, like, but every condition I have, I know from my Eastern study that it's all coming from anxiety. It's a side effect of anxiety. And if I were to go on medication, which I have been in the past for my arthritis, it's just dealing with the symptom, not the actual problem. Mm -hmm. And for me, after three days, honestly, and I was doing, I just started with eight ounces a day. I went straight for the Mac Daddy and was doing eight ounces a day. But like the third or fourth day, I started noticing that my anxiety had dissipated, mm -hmm. that I was a lot calmer. And it's consistently been that way since I've been doing it for a couple of weeks now. And I thought, isn't that interesting? Because the ASEA is just, my body takes in, your body, our bodies take in the liquid. And then the body goes, thank you for being here. This is where we're going to send you. My yeah. body sent it to my, my whatever's shooting off in my brain to give me anxiety, to calm it yeah. down. Mm -hmm. so for you, it went to the lower part. For Nicole, I know you just started yours. Nicole, what are you noticing? Yeah, it, you know, it's that cell signaling, right? And so the cells that are got their hand up and you know, I need some help over here. That's where the ASEA is going to get to work. And I, I guess I'm really probably average. I don't know, but there were some things I didn't know I was going to um, get a benefit of like sleeping better. Um, it, like sleep for me had become this elusive monster. Cause I just couldn't turn my brain off. And, um, so I no longer had like that sleepy feeling in the evening and I, and it just was, it was very hard for me to turn my brain off and sleep. And the first night that I took Athea, the first night I started in the morning and the first night I just organically felt tired like a normal person. And I was like, huh, I wonder if these thoughts are going to pop me up out of my, my, you know, initial slumber, which is normally what happens. And it didn't. And I slept all the way through and I woke up the next morning and it was my normal six hours, but I woke up and I felt so just refreshed because I had good sleep, right? That's like such an underestimated thing that we need in our, in our life is good quality sleep. And when I got up, I thought, huh, I didn't have to take a CBD gummy to sleep. <laughs> like all I did was take one day of a CEO. Wow, this is going to be so, so fun. So my skin is clearer, my hair is no longer falling out like as much as it was. Um, I overall, just a general sense of health, I have more energy and I'm on day eight. You know, I, it's not like uh, uh, it, it's this huge hurdle that you have to go through to, to, to take a SIA, but the benefits, man, they're just piling up. I just, I just got done doing the, the day eight blog and I was, I kind of felt bad. I'm like, gosh, I keep rattling off all these things that Athea has helped me with in eight days. I'm so exciting. And it's not anything big, but it's all significant. You know, it's all significant things. And adding them up, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what, what that looks, looks like in 30 days or nine days. You know what I mean? Yeah. They say the three month mark is when you really see big major results. And I'm curious, yeah. actually, I, I know this might be TMI for the guys watching, but I'm, I'm supposed to start my period in a couple of days. I'm curious to see what that's going to be like, because from what I understand from a Chinese medical doctor I used to work with, we're not supposed to have cramps. So I'm curious to see like what that's going to look like on the ASEA and, and ladies, if watching right now, if you click care to leave comments about that, go right ahead. Um, knowledge is power. And I mean, yeah. Kathy, when you got to about the three month mark, did you notice a, a drastic after three months consecutively of taking it? Did you notice a drastic? Or, I mean, you noticed a drastic change on the first night, but at the right. three month mark, what was going on with you with the ASEA? I made steady improvement the whole time, the whole time. Just so kinda. my strength was coming back, my balance, like everything was like it was. It was solidifying in my brain. It was because it's all connected, right? right? Yeah. And so it's interesting, Nicole, when you talked about the cell signaling, because that is basically what ASEA does. The redox, it to the degree our cells don't communicate with each other, right. they don't receive the signal that is being sent. 
that's the degree you've got unhealth. Right. Right. Or disease or however you want to word it. And it's, it's bizarre because right before this show, and I haven't obviously had a chance to tell anyone, it's so ironic <laughs> because with ASEA being the self-signaling to get communication out, I was impressed to take down all my YouTube channels. All my I took all my videos down, and that's a whole nother topic. But right before this show, I was shown that I need to reopen my channels of communication. I need to go back on the airwaves, not specific about ASEA. And I don't even honestly know what what the emphasis should be. I don't seriously, it was right before I came on your show that I was shown that so it's like as a, that saying go as above so below as inside so without so it's like here I am talking about this this great communicative you know juice that you drink so that communication can re you know can go through your body and here I am I'm supposed to be back on the airwaves so that my voice can be heard maybe yeah. about anything I don't know but it just made me so excited. I thought, you know what? This is just, this is big. And it's, this is a God wink. This is a, this is too ironic to just let it go. You know yeah, what I there's, mean? There's no coincidences here. Not at all. Not at synchronicity. All. And mm -hmm. from what I understand, this is just from what I understand that it, it cause the sea has been around what, like a little over 10 years now, mm -hmm. But it really took off when they got the ASEA into our community. But our community on YouTube, I, I don't like calling us truthers. I like calling us seekers. Our seeker community aligns with this product. And I, I will be honest, in the past, I have gotten offers for sponsorships before from other companies. But if I didn't align with them or I felt like there was something dodgy, I would I would decline it. But with this... First of all, I trust I trust Catherine Edwards completely. I trust Jay and April from Spiritually Raw. And then my own research, getting to know Danielle, I was like, this is what this is about. Uh, we say all the time, the intel is interesting. The story is interesting. It's interesting to learn these things. But that's just the drama. Mm -hmm. This is what this Great Awakening is about. It's about as the disease, bringing it back into harmony. And it starts with you. It starts within you. It's you are the storm. You are you are the great awakening. You are you are that. You know, you are the white hat. And this yep. is one of the things that are gonna help you reclaim that power. It's not that's what yeah, it's like it's not doing it for you. It's assisting you in your own path. And yep. it's so and I will say maybe um so I will say for those taking the ASEA. You get a little cup, and, and Kathy is right. They tell you to start with like two ounces. Jay and Catherine both both told me just to start with eight, but that, that might have been because I'm already work out a lot already. So I started doing two and two cups in the morning and two in the midday. For I've had so many people say, Oh, it tastes like pool water. Well, that and we can have Catherine, maybe Nicole can can mention that as well. If it tastes like pool water, that means the microbiomes in your mouth are out of whack. So that's a sign to you that it, the ASEA has already found something in your mouth that's out of whack, okay? Over time, the more your body comes back in alignment, it never tasted like, it just tasted like water to me. But interestingly enough, my boyfriend, who's a chef, a very health conscious chef, it tasted like pull water to him. Mm. So that was I, me, me too, but I, I, I definitely have... Uh, improvements to make on my diet, although I have made many. Um, but I was like, I had heard you say that. And so when I took it, I'm like, Oh, so I've got some work to do here. You know, huh. I just and over time, you won't like, like, uh, it's, I, I don't think Catherine would mind me saying this, because she was saying she went out to a, a, to celebrate a friend's birthday and had a couple glasses of wine. And the next day, it tasted weird to her, too. So she saw how the unhealthy food and wine had a, had pulled off the microbiomes it, but over time you won't taste it anymore because your right. body will start to get back in alignment so what you do is you swish it around your mouth for like 30 to 60 seconds before you swallow it well i know that because where does your gut health start yeah mouth it's where it starts is in your mouth 
right? So it makes you be more aware of what you're actually putting in your mouth, right? And um, I, well, with my boyfriend too, I think because I have so many digestion problems, I'm I, I've and that's something it helps with too is digestion. I've been hype. I'm always hyper focused on what I'm eating for my body because of that. Whereas he he has a stomach of steel, so he might have been eating something he thought was healthy for him, but because he doesn't have digestion problems, it was the astia that showed him. And I will say too, so my, my boyfriend, I've done all this research, right? Cause it's my, I, you know, like Nicole, I'm spot. So I've done all this research and he's refusing to do any research into it because he just wants to see for himself. He doesn't want to be influenced by anything. Mm -hmm. And, um, this morning he was telling me, and my boyfriend is very physically fit. Like, I mean, I obviously, I work out a lot. I'm going to be with somebody who obviously works out a lot, very physically chiseled and fit. And we had gone out with the dog yesterday and he was telling me this morning that he noticed yesterday when we were hiking that his jeans that are normally fitted on him were a little loose. And he thought it was the ASEA. And I said, that's interesting. You might have had inflammation that you didn't know you had. And the ASEA, because if you're a fit person who's chiseled he's pretty chiseled you don't really notice the little inflammation you might notice the bigger inflammation so obviously in my opinion i think he had some inflammation in his legs and the asia flushed it because i know it helps with inflammation too so i thought that was really interesting yeah um, i would say that i have had decreased inflammation too i went to the scale when i started and i went to the scale today and it's a minuscule change for the better but I do, my clothes feel different. You know, it just, it just feels different. So I definitely concur with that. Well, and think about how they, they, when they were testing, from what I understand, when they were testing this product, they were testing it on athletes, which makes sense to me because athletes are in a job. You know, when you think about working out, you're ripping your mu muscles apart and they're building up. That's what makes them stronger. That's what makes you sore. So I think athletes were a great specimen to test this on. Can't hurt you. Right. And they, their recovery was a lot faster. And so if, if, if it can recover the muscles that quickly, it's going to start recovering other parts of the body too. And I will say like, I'm very fit for my age, but I noticed too that my endurance is, is a lot stronger and I'm able to, to go longer in my workouts and my practice. I'm able to um, recover better. I don't feel so sore the next day. Um, and so, and so, yeah, I, and, and also, you know, with the healthy uh, April said this was spiritually raw. And I thought that's a good one. When you feel better, you start to eat better. You yes. want to continue that like attracts like, right? Like mm -hmm. Kathy, even though she had her feeling back, it was, it was, even though it hurt, there was a, there was a positive, mm -hmm. positive sensation. And so she wanted to keep going. Right. It's like a body in motion stays in motion. When we want to keep going, we're going to do better to keep that momentum. And so even if you are someone who struggles with your weight and you want to try the ASEA to see if it helps your digestive, it helps, it's go it can't hurt you. Right. It can't. And ASEA, yeah. actually, I'm interested in trying. They do have a new like anti-aging skincare line with ASEA. And I do want to try it eventually, but part of me is like just taking the the liquid. Mm -hmm. I feel like yeah. my face looks younger. Yeah, I'm using the um, Renew Twenty Eight on like my mole I have on my face, and it's in eight days. It's softer. Like it, the consistency of this spot on my face has changed, and so it's a little smaller and it's softer. I fully anticipate it going away because it's not anything I was born with. It came up over time. And it's just been there for like the last six years. And the dermatologist was like, well, we just really don't want to mess with it in case it makes it worse. I'm like, it's on my face. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> but um, so I'm super excited about that. So that's why I'm not going to use a different skin product on it. I'm just going to leave that for the 90 days, use that and see what I get. That's like a really good test for me and i know some people use the gel as like a face moisturizer like for a night cream because yeah. so with, with the difference between the gel and the liquid i think everyone should do the liquid hands down because the liquid goes to your body where your body needs it if you got a shoulder exactly. issue it's going to go the shoulder issue but the gel so i put the gel a lot on my neck if you if you can decide where to put so wherever you put the redox is where it, with the gel is where it's going to go 
right? Where at the right. liquid, you're allowing your body to use the intelligence of your body to carry the liquid where it needs to yeah. go. Um, I know animals, I've been giving it to my dog. My dog will, I, I treat it like it's a, it's a, um, oh, he's not in here. I was about, I was about, I was about to have to start spelling some words. So he <laughs> freak out. I treat the redox like it's an actual treat. So I put it in a glass bowl, a little in a glass bowl. And I'm like, Ravi, you want a treat? Sit. I make him do his tricks and I put it down. Then he drinks it up. Um, we don't, I learned from Danielle, if you have a dog, you want to use it on your animal, do not put it on their food. Right. Because this is how intelligent the redox is. Guess where the redox is going to work the if you food. put it on the food? The food is not going to go. to. So I give it to Robbie separate. Um, and I know Catherine can talk more about the benefit animals. All um, As Danielle was saying, we're going to start doing this. We're going to do it with plants, an experiment. You can put one plant in redox and one in water and see how much longer the plant and the redox last versus the one in water because every living things has a cell every living thing has a cellular yeah. structure yeah yeah that'd be cool so all right you guys we're coming up at about an hour now i am just thank you so much kathy that when i heard your story with nicole i got emotional i got emotional again hearing your story because your story because that is like and that was your friction girl like that we all have crisis event as nicole yeah. calls it we all have a big moment of fireworks in our life that is a turning point and you yeah. could have just continued going down that path like you said when your friend called you and you got mad at first or sent you the link but you caught yourself and that was at that point where you were at a point in your path where god was like you got two choices mm -hmm. yeah. you can either grow from this or you can die yeah that's exactly yeah, like it. like um like shanti's spider bite right yeah yeah. Evolve or die. Evolve or die. Your choice. Yeah. It's yeah. your choice. And and that and you took the you took the gamble to evolve. Because what and that's again, guys, I'm gonna emphasize this. This pro there's no way this product can hurt you. It mm -hmm. there's no you can literally start start chugging. I mean, we're about to get a lot of bottles in, and my boyfriend was like, I should just carry this around as a water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, don't waste it, <laughs> like, you know, um, and that's how great the company is. Like the fact that we're getting a lot of bottles in, I'm, I fully intend. I know some people in my life who are really, really struggling financially, like really struggling. And I'm just going to go drop some off at their house from some that I've you know, just, just, just to help them out a little bit because, you know, you know, too much is given much is expected. And, um, and yeah, and I, I, Nicole too, like I get up, at, I'll say I, I get up at like three thirty, four 4 o'clock in the morning. So usually by 5, 6 p.m. I'm pretty like zoinked. And <laughs> after the first couple of days on this, I wasn't tired. And we got in the bed that night to like chill out. And I was like, damn, am I going to have to take a Benadryl? Like, I was like, <laughs> 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 I was like I see yeah, you didn't have to work this well <laughs> I mean it could probably for those of you guys who are, are in our age range it could probably help with your sex life like I you know like it's it's going to regenerate your your vitality right mm -hmm. that's why children you know, you know un, uh, this is under the TMI thing but I've had bilateral mastectomy from breast cancer and if I regenerate some breasts I'm going to be kind of pissed because I got to go pop bras you're like, no, don't work there. <laughs> yeah, I've kind of gotten used to that. Uh, I don't think I want them back. They tried to kill me. <laughs> Death by boobies. I wanna, listen, I want a reduction. I'm, I'm, I am a tiny person, and I've got double D boobs, and I am like. I recommend. Them. Yeah, highly recommend. I, I'm not going under surgery right now, though, because of everything going on in our <laughs> no. warfare. No. Lord, Asia, if the Asia gods are listening, if you can make my boobs smaller, I'd be so much. I'd be very appreciative. Well, uh, this has been such a good show. <laughs> I know. Real talk here. Real this is so nice. <laughs> my mama's boobies got smaller after having kids. And I haven't had kids, so maybe <laughs> that's the universe being like, sister, if you pop out a baby, they'll get smaller. But <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, guys, well, Kathy, I appreciate you so much. I will again be putting Nicole's links in the description box because 
I mean, Nicole, you are working so hard to get this the word out as well. So for, for this episode, guys, if you want information, and the number that's in the description box is Jay's number from Spiritually Raw. And he is so awesome. I love him in April so much. Nicole and I will be on with him again next week. Um, yeah. Jay has been with this company for a very long time. And so he's very familiar with the product and he's very familiar with the business. And so he can talk to you and help you figure out what's going to work for you with what you want out of, out of the product. Right. So, so, um, and he's so great. So you just text Nicole info to that number and he will get back to you and talk you through the, the, the website, the website is still really new guys. And, um, and so I think there's still this product, once it came into our community, I think it grew a lot bigger than they were, you know, could keep up with. And so it's great to have people like Jay that can actually walk you through it and help yeah. you figure out what's going to work for you. Um, and again, it, it can't help if you take, it can't hurt. If you, if you take too much, you'll just pee it out. Like that's, <laughs> Yeah. All yeah. Yeah. It's it's definitely worth giving it a try. Definitely worth it. Yeah. yeah. And I thank you. I thank you, Bryce, for putting the links in there. Thank you. Of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're all one big and I know I was just talking to Catherine today. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks when we have we know more more people now who are on it doing a big round table of people and their experiences and what they've noticed and all that kind of stuff. So I thank you too. I thank you, Kathy. Yes, and Kathy, if you have any of your channels back up, send me those links, girl. We'll put them in the, des the description box and get your channel out there, too. So, um, and I'll, I'll love to have you back on again. And we can, you know, I you. actually, let's do, so if you guys have, like, specific questions about the product, too, put them in the description, or in the comment section below, and, um, and maybe we can do, like, a follow-up as well with more people and talk more about some of your questions that you have. So, yeah. yeah. All right, you guys. Thank okay, you so thank much, everybody. You. Talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.